Hello, I'm Ashley, the engineer at Andover Norton, and this week's video is about isoelastic mounts. Now, I've done a video in the past to, for these, which is a little bit more in-depth than the one I'm just about to, to mention. We will put a link to that one in the video. The question we get is, I've put my isoelastic mount together, and it's too wide. Now, logic suggests that the adjuster end goes on the end th portion with the missing thread. That's not the case. If you actually screw that on to that section, it will go up, but you end up with that protruding from there. So it will go on. Now, the other end with the actual grub screw in, if you put that on the adjuster end, you will find that it has stopped short. You've got a big gap here. That's what's stopping it go into the into the actual frame the way to remember it is in the portion in the in the actual abutment that's got the thread missing at the bottom of the hole where the threads missing goes to the missing thread on the rubber mounting that spins up goes all the way up and then you can do your grub screw up the adjuster goes on the full threaded portion goes on to the full threaded portion on there so that goes on like that like that and you can see you roughly got the same distance there and there that's how it goes so the way i remember it is the grub screw goes on to the blank portion where there's no thread if you remember that you'll get the ends on the right way around when you go to put it in it will go straight in. The other thing to remember is when, when putting these in, use plenty of red grease and likewise on the grub screw, use a nice dollop of uh, copper crest, anti-seize grease, whatever it is you can get hold of in your region around the world. So it does all much the same thing. So give it a good old coating in the thread there and on the threads. Remember in 20 years time when you come and take it off, you don't want to be sat there cussing, you just want it all to come apart. Now, that's the end of the isoelastic. I would like to thank everyone that's watched the videos over the past 12 months. It's uh, made it worth doing. I still do it. I don't get any, any financial uh, reward for doing so other than my wage for working at Andover Norton. But people keep asking the questions. And while we get the questions and the queries, I'll carry on doing the videos. So thank you very much. This is the last video for this year because we're going to be putting out the Christmas videos through December. Hopefully we'll get those completed up until the last posting dates for your various regions. We will be back in the new year and we will be uh, mixing up the videos a little bit more. We'll be doing more videos like this. We will be doing more videos about the bikes, uh, the, especially the bikes we're going to be using for next year. We know what we want to use, we know we got to repair some of them, and we know where we're going to be using them, so it's going to be worth watching. And likewise, we'll be doing uh, more videos of where we go to the actual uh, the dyno when we've repaired and, and put together the bikes that uh, have been there in the past and may not have performed as they should. Once they're up together and running, we'll get them back up onto the dyno and have another good day up there. It's uh, interesting and it seems popular. So thank you very much. Have a lovely Christmas and New Year. See you all back in January. Thank you very much.